10th Premier, Peter Lougheed, will always be many things to many people. Dynasty builder, Alberta's champion, iconic Canadian statesman, and visionary leader. What brought me to being a progressive conservative was that I believed in the free enterprise system. I believed that the government uh, should not be dominating, but should be in a supportive role. And I believed also that uh, we should be progressive though, and we should be dealing with some of the issues, uh, health and education and other issues in a very positive way. He was a positive force that embraced loyalty and team spirit. Lessons learnt on the football field as a halfback with the Edmonton Eskimos were useful in the political field, especially when dealing with Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. We were as, as two different people as you could get. I was a team player and all my life was playing team sports. He was all his life on individual sports and we were very different personalities. Secondly, uh, he was very much of the view of wanting to centralize, which got us into the Constitution issues, uh, Ottawa and have Ottawa dominate the provinces. And I was completely the opposite. So The two men engaged in epic battles over Constitution reform and the National Energy Program. But Premier Lougheed had a secret weapon. Uh, we had our caucus uh, uh, very much supportive of positions we took in some of these issues. And we got the party involved. It's very important in government, if you're in a leadership role, to constantly be aware that you need the support. You need the support of your caucus, you need the support of the party, and you need the support of the people. You take nothing there for granted. You don't wait for four years for an election. You keep that going steadily, and that, I think, was one of the very important things we did as a team in government. By the time he retired, he had protected Alberta's resources from the hated NEP. Provinces were no longer junior partners in Confederation, and Alberta was an economic powerhouse. Many people wanted me to go into federal politics. My decision going into the provincial field was because I thought I could get more done. I looked at the Constitution of Canada, and I looked at the fact that resources were the province. I looked at the fact that education and health was, were the province, and I felt that I could get and accomplish more uh, in provincial politics than I could in federal. With no seats in the legislature and no coins in the coffers, Peter Lougheed became leader of the Progressive Conservative Association of Alberta on March 20, 1965. Ironically, earlier that month, the current leader and premier of Alberta, Alison Redford, was born. And on May 23, 1967, Peter Lougheed and five colleagues became the official opposition to Ernest Manning and the social credit government. They did something rather amusing and, in my opinion, foolish politically, because when we went in there, uh, we, uh, they insisted to have all their members all on one side of the assembly. So they were all crowded across from us, and of course there we were, our long line of six and you'd go into the legislature and people particularly in the media would look down and you wouldn't you couldn't help but feel a sense of empathy towards these, these small group of people then on august 30th 1971 peter lougheed and the progressive conservative team won a strong majority with 49 of the 75 seats in the alberta legislature albertans have never looked back the Progressive Conservative Association of Alberta is proud of the legacy, wisdom and guidance they have gained from the Honourable Peter Lougheed. I have a, a good sense of confidence about the party. 